AFib is the most common heart arrhythmia. The science of it is that the top parts of the heart kind of beat a little bit in chaos or disorder. And the reason that's important is it can cause symptoms, you know, things like dizziness, shortness of breath. But most importantly, from our standpoint and our patients, it can predispose you to stroke, which, you know, obviously can be really disabling. Historically, it's been common in older people. But a 2024 study from the University of Pittsburgh that looked at more than 67,000 patients discovered that a quarter of AFib patients were under the age of 65. That just kind of has been moving the needle a little more to, you know, we, we have to identify in our younger patients. Dr. Roshan Vadim says there are a variety of ways to manage AFib. But things like ablation, medications and all that tend to do a lot better if you diagnose it early and, and you can treat it and, and stay out of AFib or limit AFib as long as you can. The best treatment is preventing AFib from occurring in the first place. You can't control your age and your family history, but you know, you can, I think we all always can do a little better with, you know, diet and exercise, watching for other medical diseases like thyroid diseases or um, sleep apnea, diabetes, hypertension, smoking. You could learn more by searching for AFib on leehealth.org. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.